The secret legend of Tunic is one of greed, power, hubris, and downfall. It is a story full of sorrow, lost to both time and tongue, awaiting a ruin seeker to uncover the truth. But the greatest sorrow is not buried. It lies out for anyone to see, but no one noticed. Two lines is all it takes to tell the tale of a greater tragedy. Tunic begins humbly enough. You wake up along the shores of a ruined empire with nothing but the tunic on your back. You find a house, or is that a jail cell, containing a stick, and off you go on your lonely adventure. For there is no one left to tell you about the ruins that you see. Instead, you must make guesses, judgment calls of your own. You may have even fallen, but there is an heir who picks you back up and sends you on your way. You make offerings to shrines in the heir's image, gaining both power and knowledge as you go. You begin to learn small pieces of a legend and, intent on freeing this guardian of yours, you hunt down the keys to their prison. The tide shifts, and the air is not this merciful god that you originally thought. They strike you down, strip you of the false power they bestowed, and you are left to wander as a ghost, to learn who you truly are, a ruin seeker. But, in this ghostly plain, you are no longer alone. Wisps and echoes are eager to tell you their story. These are not remnants of other ruin seekers. No, they are embodied memories of a time when the palace fell, stuck neither here nor there. It seems that some are aware that the prison is broken. While others fish in the decrepit gardens without a care in the world. You begin to gather clues from these wisps leading you to places where you can piece together the puzzle of who you are. But if you really listen, you can also learn who they are. Some obviously help to implement the heir's prison. Some spent their final moments dancing to the rhythm of the golden song, perhaps even hoping it would save them. Or perhaps they are aware of what happened and dance to warn any ruin seekers in the only way that they know how, desperate to be free from both the air and oblivion. But one story is filled with more sorrow than this empire's downfall. It is a tragedy not just of loss, but of resignation. While the other wisps dance and worry, or fish and don't worry, one wisp has given up entirely. He sits alone outside of his former life, watching his countless ruin seekers that he cannot reach pass by and ransack the only remaining ties he has. Only this time, now can the ruin seeker truly listen to his story, 
but it's already too late. You walk up to him. He would have been surprised that you could see him once, but not anymore. He doesn't stand, barely even looks up at you as he sighs and says, I ran a store once. People usually steal stuff, though. You had been there earlier, before in the canonical plane. In fact, you even thought it odd how someone had come before and stripped all but one chest clean. Less than scraps were left. Who but you could use the things left buried under a dead empire? Every ruin seeker before you. And each time, this hollow shopkeep watches his old life plundered for the taking. Perhaps he even hoped he could reach out to those first few ruin seekers, tell them what they were missing, tell them of the first heir, whose hubris also fueled the search for power. But they did not listen, or they could not. Be it the distance between planes, or the distance between tongues, they could not hear the shopkeep's warnings. This is a much slower death. The heir's greed stole the shopkeep's life, but your greed, your greed stole the shopkeep's last shred of faith that peace would eventually come. <laughs>